Good morning. I am back in the swing of things. I am back in Pennsylvania and I'm starting my day off in Lewisburg. It's been quite some time since I've been here. I'm very excited to see what we are going to find today. Let's go in. It is definitely not Florida out here. <laughs> Look at this, look at that Whiting and Davis purse. That is absolutely fabulous. I've never seen it in the blue and I love that size. Oh man, and I love the die cut pinup girl. That's fabulous. Oh, it's stapled on there. That's a shame. And head vase, 35. That's not a bad deal. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape. It's a little bit more than I'd like to pay. Um, Oh, but it's really pretty. All right, I just walked in the door. Let me not get to look at this. What? Denmark. I've never seen that in that size with the sleepy eyes. That's really different. I wonder if that's, is that Stife? Or damn, I feel like it's gotta be Stife. Very different. And I'm still getting cats for my cat sale. That one's at six. What about the little zebra planter? That's adorable. 12 bucks, that's a little close. These are fun, they're made to look Italian even though they're made in Japan. Ooh, I like this little ashtray, 30 bucks. What else is in here? Big fan of everything happening here. I found some really good stuff here last time. Love the deer. How much are these? 65 for this set. Can't do anything with that. That's a little newer than I'd like. This is different. 22. I love the uh, embroidered hippo. The cruel, excuse me. And the frog. What's going on with this? Fenton frog signed. 22. So after the 10%, that would come to 22.50. I might look that up. I don't think I've ever seen a signed, hand-painted Fenton frog. All right, well, I officially deem this a good deal. Um, it looks like the average price is around 50 bucks sold. And uh, there's not one quite like this online. So this is going to be my first item of the day. Whoa. Um... I need to take the shelf by shelf, but this is distracting me. These flat faces are amazing. 32, 20% off. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on in this booth. I'm gonna put that down for now. Let's see, anything on the top shelf? This is really cool. Lucite goldfish, 28, 20%. Oh my gosh. The, it's again, like the prices are a little close. Of the planter and this little doll. I've had those before. Let's see. The teapot. Those are amazing. 38. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And the original packaging too. $20. So $16. I feel like that's not a bad deal. Um, oh my gosh. How cute. This is very, very, very overwhelming. Oh, look at this. That comes to 960. Yeah, this is this is like a whole thing happening here. Oh my gosh, the bunny faces. Is there two of them in there? Oh, this is overwhelming. What's happening with this? India. Uh, this is a fabulous planter. Oh, I think this might be the crazy Calhouns. Oh my gosh. That's amazing too. This is too much. <laughs> I think this is too much for me. Yeah, this must be the crazy Calhouns. Yes, the, cr the crazy Calhouns. Got it. Duh. They are on whatnot too. I love their stuff so much. What is this? Oh my gosh. How fun little magnets. This might be a little much for me to start out with. I'm gonna come down the aisle and see. Circle back to that. That's a lot of excitement for me, <laughs> first thing. Oh my gosh, this bride doll. She is fabulous. I've never seen one quite like that. 
She's really interesting. I have a small collection of dolls like that. And then the little lipstick lady. Oh, she's got broken fingers. Nursery planter. This fun, fun little flocked mouse. He's pretty great. Seven bucks. I've had those before. They're kind of hit or miss. What's this? Looks like a perfume bottle that's missing its stopper. And the poodle planter. Five bucks. Why are you five dollars? I love you. <laughs> I think I'll take that. And over here, this I can't help but notice. Look at this Swedish MCM elephant paperweight. He's quite fantastic. Nine dollars. He's a, got a little bit of a strange face. What else is over here? Fourteen. That's pretty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this elephant. He's kind of speaking to me. And speaking of paperweights, I saw that one. That's got a big chunk missing out of it, but it's this that really caught my attention. How fun is that? Three cheers. Interesting. Not sure how you wash that. <laughs> well, it comes to like 25 bucks. And the paint is awesome. These are really hard to find. I don't think there's any way I could lose money on that. That's pretty fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And, oh my gosh, look at this little ashtray. Cheerio. <laughs> That's cute. I see a glass poodle bottle back here. Let's see, 15. That's not bad, a little bit more than I'd like to spend on that though. Oh my gosh. So this, this always confuses me. It looks like everything in the case is 30% off, but it's actually not. This is $20 firm. I'm gonna take, I see it's because it's missing its shot glasses. It's a decanter. It looks like it might have some damage. I'm also really curious about what's happening here. I've seen the hula girl here before, but I've never seen the blonde one. She's at 45, that's amazing. I might wanna get into this case. Let's see which one this is. Well, the blonde chalkware was perhaps the best piece of chalkware I've ever seen. So I did end up getting it. She had the heart crotch and wild boobies. Check this out, that's amazing. The walking stick, it's really cool. I am gonna be keeping, oh my gosh, that tin is so good with all the anthropomorphic animals playing music. I am gonna keep the chalkware. I'm very sorry, but that was, that had my name written all over it. Check out these fun cat salt and pepper shakers. I love the ones with the rhinestone eyes. Those are at 15 and then the longer ones are 20. Uh, it's really not a bad price, but it leaves a little less room than I would like at this point in my crazy cat sale situation. Look at how fun those salt and pepper shakers are back there. I feel like this is where, oh no, it's that case. I got that crazy bracelet that one time. I love this Lucite purse too, but that's at 135. Christmas. Half chocolate poodles only 12 bucks. Yeah, this is where I got that crazy bracelet. And then in this case, there's a really neat sterling cat brooch. Ooh, and the bee, but that's not sterling, I don't think. Uh, that stretchy bracelet there is $10. That's really fun. And then I see one Bakelite bangle at 12. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab both. And hello. Whoa. There's a lot going on in here. Uh, let's start up here. These guys are 12 bucks. They're made to look like Mr. Toodles, but they're actually not even precious pooch. They're like off brand, off brand. Okay, this I have to see. This is crazy epic. It weighs like 100 pounds. It's $20. I don't think it's Murano, but I also like 
don't know. <laughs> I just think it looks cool. Um, I'm also looking at these guys. It's $20 for the pair. This one's at $19. Oh, the black and white daisies, that's at $6. I'll get that. I love the little bone china. The problem is I have to get somebody to come down here with the key. Uh, over here, Ellie Smith 80. That's a little close. The Viking green drape is pretty cool. And that's at 65. I um, kind of like the look of that. I might look that up just for comparables. Yeah, so I can't say it's the best deal. It's definitely not a bad deal. If it was for myself, I wouldn't think twice. I'm gonna keep looking um, and see how I feel on the way upstairs. For now, it's downstairs time. A little milk glass Fenton, five bucks. I'll take that. It's been a while since I had one of those for that price. You kind of can't go wrong. Which is the bigger one? Ten. Yeah, I, kinda, I feel good about this. Uh, so I was looking at all the rainbow glass. <laughs> when this kind of demanded my attention, it's got a repair on one of the flowers. How much is it? Twenty-eight dollars. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, it's got some repairs. It's pretty epic. I feel like people are going to fire me if I don't get it. But it does have kind of significant amount of damage. It's not my favorite face. Um, so I definitely don't want to be shipping it with all the damage. Oh, that's hard to leave behind. Let me go in this nook. Maybe there's something else waiting for me. Whoa. Hello, turtle. $18. That's a really good one. Is there a discount in this booth? He's got a little spot on his nose. Oh my gosh, he's so fabulous. I'm really tempted. And it's winking. Oh, that's killing me. What is that bee vase though? Hold on, let me get my camera down. There's too much happening in here. So it's more contemporary. Yeah, not... But it's really cool. It's twelve dollars. I wish it was a little bit older. Yeah, that's really kind of neat. We love bee stuff. I might take a gamble on that, even though it's newer. Um, I'm also interested in whatever this bird is. 150 just kidding i'm not interested in that bird well it weighs about as much as i do but check out this thing it's like a chinchilla owl this is probably contemporary too but it's very different 18 dollars yeah it's probably like chinese but it's really different is that what is going on there Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of neat. I've never seen one quite like that before. I think I'm going to take a chance on that. This line, though, is troubling me. I don't know, man. It's 18 bucks, and it's really unique. Let me not be too weird. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this. I put it back, and I immediately was like, why am I putting this back for that price? Um, for 12 bucks, I feel like you can't go wrong. Who cares if it's a little bit newer? This turtle is really bothering me. I'm going to look it up just to make sure I'm not doing something really silly, leaving it behind for 18 bucks. Yeah, I thought that was Swifty. I think it's named Swifty. It's so, so close. I feel like it would sell for at least 30 bucks. I'm having a hard time. I don't know. I'm going to put it back. Well, I've already got two items that are complete crap shoots in my basket. But I feel like I'll at least make my money back. I thought that was Bakelite from the hallway. It's definitely not. Keep going. Well, this is kind of interesting. It's like a fused glass, but with pansies on it. Handkerchief. Again, contemporary. Really cute, though. 
a little bit more than I'd like to spend considering I have two contemporary <laughs> crapshoot pieces already in my basket. Tanala, 24, and then, yeah, 19. So I went back to that case on the stairs and I grabbed the Viking one. I think the Ellie Smith was actually the better deal. Maybe had a little bit more room, but I liked the drape better. So at least I can enjoy it for a little bit. And then I grabbed the two glittery elves as well as the epic black and white daisy brooch. Yeah, and so for all of those items, the two elves, the Viking, as well as the uh, daisy brooch, it comes to $91 in total spent. So I feel like that's a pretty good deal. This is very neat. What is happening here? Oh my gosh, look at that cat. Hold on. Ugh, I got too much going on. I need to unload a basket. Not exactly what I thought. He's got a great face though. I'm still kind of distraught about that Italian cat downstairs, but I can't get behind that kind of damage with the face not being how I want it to be. Whoa. Check this out. She's fabulous. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit more pinup girl-esque when I picked it up, but let's see. I don't really see much else over here. I think I'm going to keep going. I have to remind myself this is only the first stop of the day and to pace myself is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Oh my God, it is. It's $150. I thought it said $15. I was getting ready to break the glass. <laughs> Honestly, for a collector at $150, that's a no-brainer. For me as a reseller, I don't really want to spend that much on it. I've had that one sell over $200, but that's a lot to front. Angles. That's kind of fun. And it's a clamper. $4.15% off. We'll take that. This one's newer. Let's see. You know, I'm starting to second guess these two crapshoot items I picked up. The B as well as this uh, vase. I don't know. It's only my first stop. I might put them back. It's just kind of something. I know I could probably make a couple bucks off of them, but something is just kind of not sitting well with me about them. Ah, but on my way to put them back, I find Cat in the Boot. Hand-painted. That's kind of cute. I have too much going on. Yeah, I want to put this stuff down. I feel really good about it. At second glance, that one vase had a really weird line in it, and the... Um, B vase was very close to being something very cool, but not quite. Wow, this is kind of cool. <laughs> I love his eye. Yeah. Huh. I wonder. I wonder if that's actually Murano. His face looks correct. That's kind of cool. Oh, I see. He's got damage. That's why I was like, why is he so cheap? Twenty-eight. 15% off. Um, is it damaged? I don't understand. This is a really good deal. These are not easy to find. Ruben's big Easter planter. 28, 15% off. That's like 26 bucks or something. Right? 25. I think I need to get that. That's a good deal. Now here, what's this little bluebird? Is it a single shaker or just a figurine? $9, 15%. That's really sweet. Usually you just see them in the shakers. I like that it's a figurine. I'll take that. And the little flock ducks are cute too. A Jose F Originals, if I'm not, yeah. Is it, oh, it's each. I don't want to mess with that. That's so cute. Look at these guys. Ooh, Norcrest. Fuzzy ceramic. That's 23 though for a single one. That's about retail. Uh, let's see what else they got in here. Love the smiley glasses. This is so fun. Look at that. Sour cream. 
850, 15% off. That's not bad. What is happening here? First of all, this situation is pretty epic. Are these cats? Yes. $15 and 15% off. That is a no-brainer for me. I've never even seen those before. They're Fiesta cats. These are pretty great too, but at $18, I even with the 10%, I don't think I can do much with that. And these are fabulous, but they're a little close too. Hey, check this out. Random big purple, five bucks. Yes, please. Big eye dogs, eight bucks. What? Oh, that's so funny, it's the plastic version. See the Royal Copley Cat Planter. How much is that one gonna be? 22. This is a fun stretchy one too. Looks like it's got, it needs to be restrung. Um, whoever restrung it missed a step there. I've been trying to focus on getting more stretchy ones that are vintage too, for the people who can't bangle. Oh my gosh. Look at this dress. That is beautiful. And this one, look at how fun that is. Oh my gosh. How great. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of fun in here. I wonder what size that is. They're usually so tiny. Let's see if the feathered hats are everything. Gosh, look at the green one. And this fun bag. It's pink. Ooh, how much is this one? Dang. No price. What's happening here? Retro flower magnets. Kind of blown that doesn't have a price what about this case look at everything happening in here so fabulous i love the glasses i wish i didn't have a prescription i don't want to mess with vintage glasses and this hat is so fabulous too Ooh, what is this pocketbook that's kind of neat i love the big rhinestones on it 40 bucks Draw. Oh my gosh. Look at these porky pig slippers. So cute. And little poodle uh, mittens. Let's see what else is in here. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? What is? And that's not really what I was looking at. I was looking at this. That's cool. Not exactly what I thought either. Well, I spent $221 in there, not including the epic chalkware piece I bought for myself. And I am off to stop number two. I will see you guys when I get there.